Okay, this is a tutorial about layers. Layers are a useful concept which you're going to find that you will use over and over again whenever you use Photoshop. Uh, so let's have a little bit of background first. Uh, let's say I've got this picture of this girl here and I'd like to draw a speech bubble. So I'll go ahead and do that. There we go, and I'll write the word hi. Now, let's say for example I want to move the speech bubble somewhere else, or I'm not quite happy with it, or I want to fill it in, or you know something else. Uh, we have a problem here. I've just drawn over the top of the girl's face and you know, anywhere where her hair was, which is just about around here and here, and also her skin in this area, is completely gone because I've literally drawn new pixels over the top of the old image. So how do we get around this? This is where layers come in. What I'm first going to do is I'm going to undo what I just did there. Now, think of a layer as a clear transparency that you'd get with an overhead projector. So let's say for instance we have an overhead projector and we have this picture of the girl on there and then I want to put a tr clear transparency over the top which I can then draw on. That's what a layer is. So over here as you can see we have the layers palette. Down here this button here will allow you to create a new layer. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. As we can see we've got a new layer here. Now it's always a good idea to name your layers so that uh, as you get a lot of layers it keeps your picture organized. So what you do is you double click the text and I'll type speech bubble. Now that I've got that I'm going to draw a new speech bubble but notice how I've got the speech bubble layer selected. I could have the background layer selected in which case I'd be drawing on that the picture behind the transparency but in this case I want to draw on the speech bubble so that's one I've got selected. Now that I've got that selected I'm going to draw the speech bubble. So I'll do that. I'll write hi again. Now because this is done on a separate layer I'm free to move that around and the image behind has not been affected. See? Very, very useful. Like uh, like I've just done there, I can create another layer. Uh, I'm not going to bother naming this one because it's not important for the purposes of this tutorial. But as you can see, now that I've got three layers, you can see the pictures behind, and then there's one layer and another layer. These are stacked exactly the same way as you'd have pictures and transparencies on an overhead projector. So layer one is in to uh, on the top in the uh, layers palette, um, which means if I draw, let's say I'm going to choose uh, red color and now I'm just going to draw let's get a little bit silly and draw a moustache on her right? as you can see the moustache has gone over the top of the speech bubble now that is only because the moustache layer, I'll go ahead and name that just for clarity's sake uh, okay so we've got our moustache layer and our speech bubble layer now because the moustache layer is on top those pixels are on top. Now if I were to click and drag that layer and place it below the speech bubble layer, like so, you'll notice that that layer is now on top. So I can move that around, whoops, not that one, the uh, speech bubble layer, I have to select it first. Um, if you click the uh, point and move tool um, and then you drag around, it will move the current layer around. So as I just demonstrated by accident. Uh, but I've got speech bubble layer selected right now and I'm going to move that around and as you can see, it moves around without affecting the things below it. Likewise, if I do the same with the moustache layer, that works. You'll notice you can't click and drag the background layer because it's locked in position. See how I get an error there? So I'm going to move the speech bubble layer again and I think that should give you the basics of what a layer is. There'll be future tutorials, um, have a look through the website for explaining some of the more advanced features. Layers have a lot of useful things they can do and if you explore around you'll, uh, you'll discover some of the neat tricks that you can do.